Hello and um, hello. Today I'm going to tell you how to make an electroscope, which is a device used to measure, to not not really to measure, but more to detect static electricity. First of all, you need a coat hanger. It's already cut here. Pliers, so you can hold the um, coat hanger and cut it too. A peanut butter jar with a plastic lid. The jar needs to be transparent, as you can see, and empty. With a lid. Plastic lid. Okay? So to isolate from more electricity than it needs to. Then you need aluminum foil and clay or play -Doh. Then, so first of all, you take the coat hanger, okay, and cut it so it looks like this. Like this, okay, so you have a small um, wire. Then you're supposed to bend it like this. Uh, with the pliers, actually, like this. Hold it one, you hold it at one end, and then you bend so it stands up at 90 degrees, like this. Okay? Okay. So then, you take the, you might want to do this, take the bent wire and you hold it with your pliers like this. Then you hold it over the candle flame that you might have lit, that you lit before. Hold it like this. Uh, then, when it gets warm, okay, okay. Then, um, when it's done, um, when it's all warm, take it, and while it's still warm, you take the peanut butter garland, okay, like this, take it and push the warm wire through the, um, through the peanut butter garland, the warmth will me melt the plastic, okay, I already made a hole there, so goes through, but it goes really fast, actually. It's quite surprising, actually. Okay? Then, normally, you have a hole like this, okay? Nice hole, just the size of a um, metal coat hanger's wire piece, okay? Then, uh, then you need your aluminum foil. So, you cut a piece so it looks like Mm -hmm. This. <laughs> you should smooth it out. Then. So, um, it works better that way because the ripples uh, affect the static electricity. It should be like this when you're done with it, all smooth. Then, you put it on your bent, uh, bent wire, like this one, actually. Like this, put it on, and you fold it so the strips hang on both sides next to each other. Okay? Like this, okay? Um, actually, uh, then you take the peanut butter jar lid and you push the hook, metal hook, through the hole in the middle, okay, like this, so it's like this, um, then you should put clay around it, so it ends up like this, okay, with the metal strips hanging under it, like this, okay, so it ends like this, and then you screw it back inside the lid, Okay. 
like this. Okay? And then it ends up like this. Then you take the rest of the aluminum foil and roll it into a ball like this. Okay? Push it on like this. Uh, the ball like, should be like this. Okay. And you push it on onto the metal wire like this. Okay? Then you have your own electroscope. Okay? It should look like this, okay? Your own electroscope. Metal strips should so it should end up like this, your own electroscope with the metal strips hanging inside with the clay and the metal wire over it with a ball on top. Now you um, take a balloon, okay, like this, and you start rubbing it on your head. But Then you approach it to the metal wall, okay, and normally the metal strips should uh, move, repel from each other. Uh, so normally the metal strips in the electroscope should um, repel each other because the electrons in the balloon that the balloon has acquired from the hair uh, travel through the wire to the aluminum foils, the foil strips, which both become negative and repulse, repel each other. The first electroscope was called a resorium. It was invented uh, around uh, the year 1600 by a British physician called by a British physician called William Gilbert. Two other types of electroscope are the pith ball electroscope, which is actually um, a, pith, a ball made out of pith, which is a small plastic. It's it's a lightweight plastic material. Um, so, for example, you can make one by using a ping pong ball. Uh, making the wire pass through it, not the wire, so when you hold it like this, the ball hangs like under it. Then you uh, put the wire on, a, on a, a branch or stick that you glue like this, okay? So it looks like a... It looks like something where you hang things. And then um, you approach a plas uh, charged plastic rod next to the lightweight ball the pith ball, and the ball will attract to the rod. And uh, the other type of electroscope is gold leaf electroscope, gold leaf electroscope. And uh, this is actually a very simple version of the gold leaf electroscope. Uh, the thing is, is that it uses aluminum foil instead of gold leaf. Uh, thank you, and I wish I had a good grade on this one.